starting. Right. Uh, Building Docker images with Make uh, because you can, and because it's I, the, I like building tools to make devs' life easier. I'm an operations engineer. The developers don't are uh, once you explain some of the problems to them, they get somewhat on board. Uh, but the problems we were having was uh, people were always pushing to my application latest. Um, we didn't know what code was in that. Um, as some of our developers demonstrated, um, they had a testing program, which, a testing container which worked perfectly. It was tagged X, Y, Z. They had the same container in production, same tag, everything. Container didn't work. I examined the actual, build, uh, actual containers. They're different. Our official registry contained multiple, cop multiple co copies of code, same tag, different code. Building on your laptop versus building in CI, it's different. You get different answers. Um, tests, that's sort of something entirely optional as far as the developers were concerned. Did their container work? Who cares? Um, make, it's the original build and CI tool. Um, it runs a series of jobs. Uh, the jobs need to succeed. It runs loops and tests and templates. Uh, you know about make, I assume. Um, so I um, read something on uh, DevOps Weekly about how you could assemble containers with a make file. I built on that. So I built uh, the developer who was uh, doing this work. He was actually a machine learning engine, a machine learning developer. Um, so he was much more interested in machine learning than writing actual Python code. Um, he wanted a simple pipeline he could build on his laptop and also have the same pipeline work in CI and know that it was going to be the same output. Um, so I built a, a tool which would fail the build if the tag already exists. Um, I take the tag out of git, I, I take the git head tag um, so that you always know which code is in your container. The container is tagged with the git shaft uh, that you've actually been built from. It also runs some really simple tests in the container before it pushes it to the repo. So we're not doing push, or push duff code into our repo. So if somebody's set up their, their containers wrong and are running latest, they don't end up with broken code. It's really simple, it's not the world's best pipeline, but it was good enough for the developer who was writing code quickly. He wanted to make sure that he was pushing the correct code to our correct and working code to repositories um, so that it's keeping it as simple as possible. Here's the bridge link linked to my GitHub project with it in. However, I've probably got enough time to do a demo. You've got plenty of time. So it's aliased on my laptop. So this, my laptop, I've cleaned Docker out. So uh, I also do, um, I pre-pull the image for build speed ups. This also will fail by design. Because the tag already exists. So I've already built this particular git commit. So we've seen an actual failure. It's a new Mac, I've got a touch bar. <laughs> so, is my container going to build this time? Yes. So we've got build speed ups, somewhat. Here's where I hope my container build fails. One it's fine. <laughs> my, my container's broken. I've not pushed my repo. Oh. One of these days, I'll hit the backspace key. Built. Pushed. 